Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech and in today's video what we have is we have a big new update for the Samsung Galaxy S20 series. Now this is a great update that does bring a powerful new feature to the S20 series. So let's dive in and get started right away. So if I go to my settings right now, okay, and if I go all the way up, you will see that it says a new software update is in fact available. I'm going to go all the way down. I'm going to go to my software update. I'm going to tap on download and install. Okay. Now this is the second update that we are getting in May for the S20 series. Now this one is going to be 463 megabytes. It does have the May 1st security patch. And of course it has a performance improvements to the camera, a brand new feature, enhanced quick share, and all this I'm going to show you guys. Let me tap on install now and we're going to be right back. Now before that, if you do want to download this wallpaper right over here, it's a stunning wallpaper and it's free. I'm going to drop a link down below, click the link, you click the link, it's going to take you to my website. Once you're at the website, you go all the way down to wallpaper number three and simply click the link and you can download this wallpaper for free. All right, so let's update the phone and inspect each feature one by one. I'll be right back. And the software update is now complete, so I'm gonna tap on OK. So right off the bat, I'm gonna show you guys the brand new feature in the camera. Now this feature has trickled down from the S20 series. So when we launch the camera, okay, and when I go over to my more option, now you have the option to see dual recording option. Now the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra has the director's view option. This is just a little bit different than that. You can see we have the front camera running and also the rear camera at the same time. Let me quickly give you a real life demonstration so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But what I can do is I can click this button here and I can get a split screen view as you can see. So the front camera and the rear camera are working at the same time to give you a dual recording capability. So this is the picture in picture view. My face is, the front facing camera is on the top right as you can see and the main camera, the rear camera is looking uh, towards everything else. And this here is the other option. Again, my face is using the front facing camera and everything else, the house and the trees is the rear facing camera. You can have the split screen dual recording design uh, for some creative uh, video recording. All right, so that is the new option in the camera. That's absolutely fantastic. Now let's exit this, okay? And also I do wanna let you know with the camera, one more thing that's very important is uh, the camera overall is now working better anyway. It is more stable, it's quicker. The stabilization at higher zoom levels is even better. Just something that you should know, all right? The other thing that's very important with this update is the quick share enhancements. So quick share is Samsung's way of being able to share large files between Samsung products, between phones, between laptop and a phone. So in this case, it's sitting right over here. So I can always enable this. And when I press and hold, I get a menu. So basically I can share this with everybody. I give my phone a name. And then when I share this with another phone, I can easily transfer large files almost instantaneously. Now this was an existing feature, now it's even better. And one of the things that has been added to this quick share is now you can transfer large files between the phone and the latest Samsung laptops, such as the Book Pro and the Book Pro 360 and so on and so forth. The, the recently released Samsung laptops. So quick share has gotten an update to make it fully compatible with those guys. And also quick share is in fact working faster when it comes to transfer speeds. Mm -hmm. So that's another one. Now the other thing is, if I go down over here, go to my settings, and if I go all the way down, we do have the latest security update. So if I tap on about phone, I can go into my software information, I can go all the way down, and if I click on this guy, it will take me to the website to show me what happened with the latest security patches. Uh, so if I go down and tap on Samsung, uh, it's gonna show you all the latest security concerns that were patched with this latest update. Uh, it's gonna show it up right here. You can read if you are in fact interested, okay? So that's basically what this new update is all about. Brand new camera option, 
camera enhancements. Camera is now faster. Quick share enhancements for faster transfers and widespread compatibility with all Samsung products. And of course, the latest security patch. Overall, it's a great update for the S20. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?